it's me, Jessica Viva, and I'm wearing the same outfit that I did in my last video because I'm literally filming it right after but it's going to be uploaded on different dates. <laughs> and a few people have asked me, no, no, I'm not doing that, about my collection. So I thought I would show you guys my collection in one whole video since a lot of people want to know why my extensions are so fucking frizzy and they want to know and see my collection. So since you guys requested it, I'm gonna show you guys and don't judge me I'm a hoarder okay so this right here is my entire album shelf and it's got every single album that I own on it and I'm gonna go through each of the shelves so this is my top shelf it has all of the stuff that I don't really know where to put this is a girls generation album and it no it doesn't look like it it just looks like a sandy but this actually comes in a big box and it comes with this so most people don't really take it out of the box but I did and honestly, I have no idea which member's which, apart from the fact that I think this one might be Taeyeon. I have no idea. And I keep my necklace on here because I know it'll stay safe on here. And I've obviously got my EXO light stick, which I've covered in stickers. And you guys may be wondering, where's Lei? Well, it wouldn't have been symmetrical, so I put him on the bottom one because, you know, right here underneath. <laughs> Because, you know, he carries all of EXO on his back, so I guess it's symbolic, okay? He's there, okay? And this is my Momoland calendar that I got for my Merry Fan Club package and it's Teha's month and every time I see her I feel sad. So yeah, that's a thing. And last but not least on this top shelf is a Girls' Generation album which is like in the shape of a big massive movie reel or whatever they're called. And um, I do appreciate creative packaging but it's very hard to move around when I'm moving house and it's impossible to put places, so it's at the top of my shelf. And I also have this Taeyeon thing that I got with a bag. It's just kind of a cardboard thingy. I don't know, it's cute, so. So this is like my first shelf of albums. I have Momoland's Light Stick on the end there. And this is all like my favorite girl groups. Obviously I have A-Pink, Blackpink, Momoland, Taeyeon, and hopefully I'll be buying some Luna albums soon. So Luna will be added to the collection. But I have all of these albums here all together like this for aesthetic reasons. I think all of them fit nicely together on the shelf because they're all like kind of thick in a way, I guess. <laughs> that sounds really weird. But when I compare it to my second shelf, you'll understand what I mean. So this is my second shelf. And the reason I split Taeyeon and SNSD up is because I'm not going to lie. I don't like these, these first few albums here. I think... <laughs> they just have ugly packaging and I didn't really want to ruin the aesthetic so I just put Girls' Generation all into one and then separated Taeyeon up there. While I do really like all the b-sides in this album, I'm just not a fan of the packaging. I like everything from Mr. Taxi onwards though. And then I have EXO here which is one of my biggest collections and also runs down to all the way down here. So this is the rest of my EXO albums. I split um, EXO and subunit up, EXO CBX and EXO up at the end just for aesthetic reasons because the albums are basically the same size. Then at the end I have Japanese releases and you might be wondering well, what are all these? And these are Girls Generation Japanese releases and if I'm being honest I don't like the packaging for these either. I just bought them because it's Girls Generation but you know I'm not really a fan of the packaging on these either after paparazzi the repackage album right here so you know i put all the japanese in together it's one but after after the repackage album it's all good from there light sticks these are all the light sticks i have i bought all of them online apart from the black pink one which i bought at the concert as you guys may know yes i don't know how to make my bed and it lights up i don't have batteries for my other ones so yeah those are all my light sticks and i guess i'll move on to my photo card collection so this is a collection of all of my biases from my fave groups, obviously excluded in Taeyeon and Bacon because I've got different files for them. And I haven't got that much for Nancy is because it's very, very expensive to collect Nancy. Her cards are so ridiculously overpriced and it's really hard for me to collect her when, you know, I'm struggling to get other stuff. And then on this side, I have all of my A pink folk cards and black pink folk cards. So obviously you guys know I don't really have that much of an impressive collection on these two yet but you know I'm going to look to expand when I get paid but that's all I have for these groups. This right here is my Taeyeon file and it's my pride and joy. I have spent so much money on this album I could not tell you how much money this album is worth 
but bear in mind i have been collecting tayon for literal years when i would spend christmas money when i would work and when i got paid from youtube so a lot of money has went into this collection i'm very proud of it so don't judge me okay i organize it into three different categories i organize it into album cards which obviously is all of her album cards this card took me ages to get because it's very rare it's her first ever album card but i'm so proud i got it and we can just go through all of our album cards here literally gorgeous in every single one literally it keeps getting better just get okay maybe not this one it keeps getting better Ooh. and then i categorize it into other cards and so there's like little subcategories for this one so these are all concert cards which you can get at concerts or lives and these ones are really cool because they flip they are holographic or whatever you call it and these are more concert cards i don't like see-through cards if i'm being honest because it's an awkward background but whatever and these are all like cards from like the sm store or like things that you can purchase on like i don't know like the sm store you know what i mean and i'm not gonna lie i get really annoyed when some of them don't have backs like proper backs like i don't like just plain white ones like this but it's whatever and we keep going and you get more and more cards do, 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 do. these ones are holographic rainbows book awesome and this is like another subcategory these are all like promotions from advertisements cfs so you have a freestyle sports down what is that a vita 500 hair couture 7-eleven 7-eleven and 7-eleven these are all with advertisements and these are all cash b cards which i think you can use on a korean subway i don't know i just bought them because they had tayon on it and next we have this set of cards i just put them into a separate like thing because it was like a set you know i thought they would go together and we also have jumbo cards and these two are from the same set but i just wanted to have full space but you know this is from her first fan club and this is from a concert but you know i just wanted big cards to be with big cards and then these cards here are a set from taeon fan union which is taeon's like fan club she doesn't really have an official fan club with sm but she works with the taeon fan club which is Ta taeon fan union and she you know lets them do photo cards of her and she sends them selfies to do occasional photo cards for events and stuff so i would still count these cards as official if that makes sense because she works with them a lot and it was a halloween set and they're actually supposed to join together but because i don't have rows of four it just kind of looks like that it's really awkward but i wanted to do it in alphabet alphabetical alphabetical order as you can see here they are alphabetically organized god that word is annoying to say fast and like i said um Taeon works with the fan union to send them selfies for photo cards and these were christmas photo cards so you know cute and next i've got star cards you can't really see it properly on there but you know they're star cards and star cards were a thing a long time ago they're kind of like out of business now i'd say i don't really know if people still make star cards but they were basically just like before photo cards you could collect star cards and i know jessica some of these look the same no some of them have a holographic tint okay <laughs> and yeah i just have all these star cards as you can see they're very old but you know old but gold i see and then that is my tail collection and i have little stickers around the edge there i, I ran out of stickers <laughs> last but not least i have the only man i'll ever love bacon and this collection isn't as thick as my tail collection but i'm still quite proud of this one I also separate it in the same way so i've got album cards here he loves to be gorgeous he loves to be cute he loves to be everything in my life and here we have other cards which is the same so i separated it into co um, co concert cards first more concert cards and then cards that you could buy at the sm town shop studio online or whatever and yeah i mean it's pretty much you know my pride and joy these cards are also expensive as well but nowhere near expensive as some of my town ones we love the holographic ones and you know and like with town i've also split them into advertisements all of these cards here with promos sunny 10 nature republic and whatever these are i, I don't remember what advertisements these are for and that is the end of my bacon collection like i said not as big but still proud of it you know 
so that is it for my collection I'm sorry that I'm not filming my outro properly but this video has been filmed over a few days and I'm really sick at the moment and I just look awful you guys don't want to see that so yeah like I always say don't feel bad if you don't collect and don't put people down if they do you know it's just a hobby and it doesn't make you a better fan if you do collect and you're not a bad fan if you don't if you need any tips or help with collecting then I can link you to my video where I explain a lot of collecting if you just have any questions about my collection I'll answer them in the comments below let me know if you collect let me know anything in the comments because I love reading comments it was really nice seeing you guys Watch Full Metal Alchemist so we can be friends and stand on. I'll see you guys later. Bye!